And welcome back to the Life Verse Podcast, where we're going to be talking about all the centers uh, in Conflated Diva. And today we're going to be talking about Mama uh, Level 3 as a center. Uh, this is actually, I'm just going to be completely clear, not my build. Uh, I got this from Dave of the Timetables, uh, from, uh, who watches our channel, so help, thank you, Dave of the Timetables. He got 12th place at the GP, um, and I didn't really have any great uh, Mama Bills off the top of my head. So he uh, allowed me to show off this one. So I wanted to just talk about his build here and probably what helped him get up into 12th place. So we have uh, Mama level three. It's a green center with the following ability. You can put a, uh, it's once a turn action ability is you can put three Signy with different uh, levels. So it would have to be a level one, level two, level three. Uh, from your deck into your trash, you can vanish target level three or more Signy on your field. Uh, it's a once per game is that during your opponent's next turn, if you would take damage, be the first to take that damage, you won't take damage. So basically, you just take one less damage on your opponent's turn, no matter what. Uh, if it's an Elrig, if it's Signy, it doesn't matter. You take one less. Uh, you also get one coin when it grows to level three, which means that you get four coins for when it grows, when it's at level zero, which is a insanely high rate. Um, means you have a ton of coins to work with, and you can kind of mess with anything you want coin-wise. Um, you've got a high budget, is what I'm trying to say. I don't think uh, the difference between three and four is super, super different, but it does allow you to basically get out some of those awkward turns that you might draw out some of your coin stuff otherwise. So you might want to put more coin stuff in this than in general. Uh, the two assist lines that are being used are Rill and Donna. I know a lot of people like these three Elrigs, so this is probably a pretty good deck if you're a stan of those ones. We've got Rill uh, Flame Dance, which vanishes something and then also gives you two more coins. So again, pretty high coin budget here. Um, there is a Donna that also gets you coins, but I actually really like the fact that they used uh, Donna Go For It at level one. Let's just look at the top four cards, and you can pick two green cards, basically, and put them into your hand. Um, the deck stats show this deck is actually mostly green here with 23 green cards so you have a really good chance of hitting at least two green cards out of your top four um i actually genuinely like real uh sword drawn and uh drawn sword and donna glittering so donna glittering is secretly very powerful um in, against aggro decks, it ends up being a two enter block two lanes which is very good against a mid range or control deck it ends up being a three enter block one lane and guard basically uh which ends up being a basically two stop against every deck in the format uh which is very 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 strong there are ways to get around donna if you're a pretty good player and like are able to sort of suss it out um but generally speaking i think donna glittering is actually a lot stronger than what people give her credit for uh real drawn sword is also very strong it's a two enter vanish something at uh, at attack speed um, and then you get another thing as where you get to vanish another Signy for three enter which is really strong there's not really any Signy there's not really any um, how do you put it there's not really any uh, assists that vanish three or two lanes for th for five especially with at least half of it being on attack speed attack, attack phase speed um, so I like that a lot Energy Door, I think, is a very natural inclusion for Mana, Mama. Um, basically, in order to use Mama's ability well, you have to manipulate what's in your Enter a lot of the time. And the being able to take two cards from your trash of your choice and putting them into your Enter Zone is a great way to do it. Um, I think that's probably one of the strengths of Energy Door. I don't love that you've got to rely on it, basically, to do that. But, I mean, I guess if... It's repeatable removal at the Elrig deck. It's probably fine, even if it's overcosted a little bit. Um, but all the other abilities, by the way, are great for, for Energy Door. And if you don't end up, like, if you end up being very careful with your Enter, it really doesn't matter too much. I think that's probably the thing that you need to do the best when you play this deck, is just really know how to, like, deal with your Enter. Know what your ratios for your level 3s, your level 1s, and your level 2s are in order to make sure that you're constantly working around those things um probably trying to keep level twos for example in your enter because there's a lot there's less level twos let me see i think there's index stats uh we actually can see that go adexis look at that just automatically having that even though i've never really looked at it before uh 15 and 11 and 12 so it's actually a pretty good stat distribution differences here um 
so anyways, <laughs> moving right along, I think Xeno Cluster is a pretty good one. You want to make sure that like if someone's trying to enter screw you, and Red does have the ability to sometimes specifically target certain enter, you can go ahead and basically just get yourself more enter and get it back. Um, then we're going to talk about the the deck. So the deck is set up itself to basically punch in damage. I mean, there's a lot of ways to punch in damage, right? You've got uh, Mata Hori, which vanishes things for a couple coins, a.k.a. free. You've got Rill, which vanishes things for coins, which you've got for free here. Um, and then you've got Lancelot, which punches in damage for Enter. Um, generally speaking, those are those are your main forms of punching in extra damage. I guess there's Osagetsun here when you Enter Charge. There's a fair amount of ways to Enter Charge. Energy Door will do it again. Like, if you're constantly basically using Energy Door to, to shift up your Enter, um, then and then Osagetsun is a great way to sort of like siphon some of that enter off and do something with it. You've got Chirin, basic general ways to do uh, to gain more enter. If I was going to make a critique of this deck, I think I probably would use um, I probably would use two Centurions in this deck here, um, which I can show later. Anyways, Centurion is basically the same thing, but it lets you enter charge immediately for some coin cost, and I think I'd prefer that personally. Um, Probably two Centurion, three Chirin, but really, you know, that's that's give or take. I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna change it here because again, twelfth place is still a pretty good placement at the GP, so I'm not gonna say anything negative about it. Um, then you also get yourself um, some other choices here. Uh, I think Donna's are always a really cool inclusion. Donna's coins is a bit expensive, but you do get a lot of power from it. You are using a lot of Enter. Um, so I think getting the ability to potentially, you know, grow your, your, your Donna out of things is quite strong. Although when I talked to, um, I talked to Dave, he did say that he really liked, uh, the Contempora here, the Contempora being like very important, a lot of his matchups. And that's because the Contempora does basically on its own, as long as you've got the enter really, really screw up, uh, Esper decks that are trying to make you discard. Um, and this is quite strong there. Plus, getting Shadow is also just a genuinely pretty good effect here. Like I said, you got more Enter here from the Nourishment in case this gate, this one is a bet. So for an, a single Enter, you can get three, uh, three Enter, which is quite strong. I genuinely like the Life Burst 2 of Nourishment, where you can Vanish Target Signing on the opponent's field to power 7,000 or more. Uh, pretty good overall. Uh, you've got Amino Acid, which stops a lot of the Machina decks, and it's just sort of really good tech against the Machina deck. Otherwise, basically, you're just always sort of, like, walling up a little bit and punching in some damage here, and that's sort of what this whole Elrig deck is used for. So, I like the Mama Midrange quite a bit. Uh, Dave from the Timetables, if you're watching, go ahead and comment down below and tell anyone any tips that I might have missed, that tips and tricks that you used to top uh, at the GP. And as always, guys, may you flip a life burst.